Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's just Janine. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for another video. In this video, I'm just going to be doing an unboxing of the Vitamix. This is the new Vitamix Professional Series 500. I have been wanting a Vitamix for a very long time, but these things are very costly. My brother introduced me to the Vitamix. He got one a long time ago. And when he showed me, he could throw a whole apple in there, the, the core and the hull and seeds and everything. And it comes out very smooth and you can drink it without any grit in it or biting on any of the seeds. It's just a very smooth consistency. I said, that is an amazing blender. What I did not know is that a lot of restaurants actually use Vitamix uh, mixers for their cooking. And also, if you notice in smoothie shops, tropical smoothie, they use Vitamix mixers for the smoothies. So this, this is pretty much the mother of all mixers, all blenders, any mixer and blender out there. This is like the mother of them all. There's, there's just no comparison to the Vitamix. So I'm very excited to finally have gotten mine. I got it off of QVC. They were having a really great sale, good deal. And I got it. The original one I ordered was still on back order forever. So I just went with a different model, which I'm actually glad I went with this model because this one's actually a little bit more upgraded than the first one that I wanted. It's got a few more odds and ends on here that the first one did not. And it was um, at a better rate. So I'm glad I got this one. So in the beginning of the video, you saw footage of the Vitamix and the parts that it came in the box. So right now I'm just going to show you me putting it together. So it's really not a lot to put together, but this is the front portion of it. And the plug is on the bottom and it's wrapped up in a coil, which is really good. So it keeps, so if you want to get this out of the way, put it to the side, but you don't want this big long cord in the way and it's hidden. So that way the cord is not in your way and you can hide it and it's not, you know, in your way there. So I'm going to, first of all, um, undo this call and I apologize once again for Pugsley. He gets to start barking as soon as I start filming. So I apologize. So it's very simple to uncoil. And it's very easy to cool back in because I tested it <laughs> before this video just to see because I got ahead of myself and I uncoiled it. And I said, oh, well, let me show y'all uncoiling this thing. And here's the power button just right underneath. And it has these nice little soft um, grips uh, for the counter so that way it doesn't not, so that way it doesn't slide. So we're going to flip this over. It's too tall to fit up under the cabinet portion here. So it, it's, I don't even know where to put it. I might just put it, I don't even know where to put it. All right, so I have it positioned up here and it's the top. I don't know if this is supposed to be wobbly or not, but it don't seem to be very sturdy. Um, it seems like it should lock. Uh -oh. I'm, trying to, I'm trying to figure out if this portion right here has to be locked down into this part right here. I'm not really sure, but um, I'm trying to figure it out. Nothing else in the box, so I don't know. I guess it's supposed to just sit on there like that, but it just seems kind of wobbly to me. I just think something is missing. I don't think this is supposed to wobble. And I've tried different directions. So it goes from one ounce all the way up to 64 ounces, which is eight cups goes all the way up to eight cups. And on this side are the milliliters. So it's 250 milliliters all the way up to 2000 milliliters, which is equivalent to two liters. Oops, <laughs> which is equivalent to two liters. All right, so now we're gonna plug it up. And this cord has a very thick rubber. This cord has a very thick rubber on it, very sturdy cord. It's not flimsy in the least bit, which is good. There we go. Oh, and a blue light comes on underneath. Flip it off, flip it on, nice neon blue light. So the top portion is a nice sturdy rubber and the plastic part that's on top, it comes off. Now this right here, this stick looking thing is what you call the tamper. 
and the tamper allows you to accelerate the process of very thick and frozen mixtures that can't be processed just you know standard in the standard blender so let's say you have like ice and just big chunks of fruits and vegetables but the blender is not really blending it because it's just too thick you just basically take this tamper and through the hole and you're just gonna get the fruits and the vegetables and everything that's not moving and it gets it to move I like this part right here I like this part right here because it has a snap and which gives extra security for the blender to hold on to it so the top doesn't fly off or anything like that so that's really cool so it just goes on like snow snow <laughs> so it goes on like so and you'll hear it snap well barely but it snaps now this portion right here is the lid plug and basically it just goes on top of the um, black plastic part up here just to keep you know objects and um, ingredients inside from splashing out so it's kind of like a splash guard the way this blender is designed instead of it just blending up it pulls everything down and blends it into this uh, blade so everything comes down is blended down in a circular motion it doesn't like blend up and splash all over the place which is really cool about this mixer this blender so I'm just going to get close for just a moment and zoom in on some of the additional functions um, and buttons of the machine here. So we talked about the on and off switch down here, uh, which controls the power of the machine base. This is the machine base, but there's also a start and stop switch right here. So with the start and stop switch, this is pretty much how it works. So after you set your variable speed, here are your variables that go from one through We'll just say 10 because it says 9 and then high. So 1 through 10. So once you set your variable to the speed that you want, you press start and the stop switch on the machine to initiate the blending process. Pressing the start and stop switch again will stop the blending process. So that's what this is for. Now over here is the pulse button. Pressing down the pulse switch will cause the machine to blend at the speed setting shown on the variable dial for as long as the pulse switch is held down. Again, here's the variable dial. Pushing down the pulse switch when the program is selected will cause the machine to run at 50% of high power for as long as the pulse switch is pushed down. And over here you have three preset variables, which one is for smoothies, one is for frozen desserts, and then the other one is for hot soups. And yes, this thing makes hot soup as well as cold items as well. So just to give you a few specifications of this product, for the motor, it has a two-peak output horsepower motor. For the electrical, it's 120 volts, 50 to 60 hertz, and it uses a three-prong grounded cord. For the dimensions, it is 20.3 inches in height, 8.8 .8 inches in width, and 9 inches in depth. The Vitamix has a seven year full machine warranty. So if this machine fails within seven years from the date of purchase due to a defect in material or worksmanship or as a result of normal wear and tear from ordinary household use, Vitamix will, within 30 days of receipt of the return product, repair the failed machine or component part of the machine free of charge. The easiest cleanup about this machine, you do not have to take this apart and put it in a dishwasher, in the dish, in the in the sink or anything to wash this. All you do is just fill it halfway with warm water, add a few drops of liquid dish detergent to the container, you snap on the lid, put the splash lid at the top there, and you're just going to turn the variable dial to 1, and you're going to press the start and stop switch and slowly increase the variable speed to high. You're going to run it for about 30 to 60 seconds, rotating the variable speed back to the stop symbol at the top, and then you're just going to rinse and drain the container. And that's all you do to clean this container. So early in the video, I showed you guys the cookbook that came with the Vitamix blender. And so it basically just talks about, you know, this blender is more than just a blender. It's a high performance blending machine. I want to show you guys this illustration right here of the blender. Basically, it kind of shows you how the items go in order in the blender. Your liquids go first, uh, dry goods. Uh, green leafy vegetables, fruits and vegetables, and then ice and frozen ingredients go at the top. It also shows what this blender does and what it's good for. It's good for blending, whole food juicing, non-dairy milks, whipping, churning, purees, dry chopping, wet chopping, emulsifying, heating, like soups 
grinding, batters, kneading, frozen desserts, beverages, soups, dips, salads, sauces, breads, and batters, dressing, and desserts. So this is a mean machine. And it also came with the owner's manual because I have a bad habit of breaking stuff first because I'm so excited to get it and try it out that I start messing up stuff and then I read the owner's manual once I did messed everything up. So it came with the owner's manual so that way I can know more about what I'm not supposed to be doing as opposed to what I think I'm doing. Okay y'all, so right now I'm just gonna show you the power of the motor. I was gonna do the ice test, but the ice started melting, um, so I'm not gonna do that. So I have the Vitamix container filled part way with warm water, just half of the container with warm water. And I'm just going to turn on the mixer. Looks like a little tornado. Alright, now we're going to kick it up to two. That is two. Matter of fact, that's one and a half. Alright. We're going to go to three. Four. Five. Six. So I'm just going to put just a dash, just not even a dash, just a drip. Let me see, maybe two drips. Four drips. Four drips, just four tiny little drips in there. And we're going to hit start. <laughs> Go to two. It's already foaming. <laughs> a lot more information on the Vitamix um, you guys can definitely you know look it up Google it I'm not gonna go um, through the whole video giving you every single detail because it'll just be too lengthy so this video was just showing just some of the highlights of this uh, product here so one thing I forgot to make mention about the Vitamix if you notice here the tamper does not go all the way down to the blade so this protects the tamper from being destroyed <laughs> in this powerful blade where you can still get all of the food and ingredients that's in here stirred around and, and well blended um, without having to damage the tamper. Yeah, I'm gonna go and watch the DVD of this in just a moment to learn more about it. So I'm very excited. I finally got me a Vitamix. So I'm gonna be making me a bunch of smoothies and uh, desserts and just all kinds of stuff. I cannot wait to start making a lot of healthy, nutritious foods in this blender. So I'm just really, really excited about this Vitamix. So thank you guys so much for watching uh, this video. I will, again, be bringing y'all some videos of desserts and fruits and drinks and stuff that I'll be making um, healthy, of course, with this Vitamix. So if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe and share. It's just Janine. I thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. Until the next video, bye guys. Thank you.